Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve another very recent and popular lead code coding interview question 2656 maximum sum with exactly k elements. So this is another popular and recent coding problem on lead code. So we are going to go through this problem. We are going to implement our Java solution code to solve this coding problem. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel now. Also click on the bell notification icon button right away. So you won't miss any important postings from this channel. Here we create videos to help others in their interview preparation and learning different computer science concepts along with data structures, algorithms, problem solving, logic building, programming and coding. So let's start. You are given zero indexed integer array nums and an integer k. Your task is to perform the following operation exactly k times in order to maximize your score. Select an element m from nums, remove the selected element m from the array, add a new element with a value m plus 1 to the array. Increase your score by m. Return the maximum score you can achieve after performing the operation exactly k times right so this is what the problem says a constant says that the nums dot length is between 1 to 100 uh, nums i will be between 1 to 100 inclusive and k will be between 1 to 100 inclusive so let's take a look at this second example so there are three fives given to us we are allowed to do two operations we can choose any number um, and we want to maximize our score. So let's say we have chosen one five, right? So our sum become five at that time, right? So our current sum become five and our numbers now, what we will do? We removed one five, we will add another, uh, another number there called as six because five plus one is six, right? So five, five, six is your new array. Sum is five, right? Next time you will remove six and you will add uh, that 6 to your score so 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 will become your score your new array will become 5 5 7 because you will add 1 to 6 and you will add that 7 into the array right so your maximum score you can achieve here is 11 right so this is what we want to find out this is another example they have given us so let's take a look at this example so your array is 1 2 3 4 5 right you are allowed to do three iterations basically correct so you want to maximize your score right so let's say your score is zero in the beginning right score is zero now you want to maximize it so you removed five from this array right so five you added into your score so your score became five and what you will add into the array five plus one so you will add six here correct so this is the first iteration right now in the next iteration you remove 6 from the array you add 6 into the score right and what you will add into the array 6 plus 1 which is 7 so you will add 7 into the score correct in the next iteration you will remove 7 from this array you will add 7 into your score right and your array you will add 7 plus 1 which is 8 you will add into the array now you are uh, finished with all your k iterations so you are allowed three iterations you have done three iterations so your score will become 5 plus 6 plus 7 which is equal to 18 right so 18 is your score which is the output this is the maximum score you can achieve so what did we do to find out this maximum score right what did we do here so first thing we have done is we have gone through this array and we identified the maximum number in this array correct so the maximum number is 5 here right okay after that we have k number of iterations right so we have k number of iterations so let's write k is equal to 3 so we'll start with 3 and we'll start adding this into our score so score is 5 in now which is the maximum that we found in the array score is 5 you will decrease the k k become 2 and then you will add one more uh, 5 plus 6 uh, 5 plus 1 which is 6 into your score right you will decrease the k by 1 so k you will add 7 here 6 plus 1 is 7 right and then you will again decrease the k so k is 0 now right so you will have to add all these three things so 5 plus 6 plus 7 will give you the maximum score right 
so we definitely have to go through this array once uh, to find out the maximum element right uh, if we don't want to use the sorting so now uh, this is the simple logic basically so we have to definitely go with first finding the maximum number right in the array so this is how you can write down this java code so nums is given to us which is an array of integer k is given to us which is integer maximize sum is the method which returns int right which is maximum score so int max is equal to zero in the beginning we'll go through the array in this for loop and we will identify the maximum number in the given array right math dot max max and num so it will give you the maximum number after this for loop right now you will create one variable result is zero while minus minus k is greater than equal to zero what you will do result is equal to result plus max plus k right max plus k you do so max is five right uh, so in this case so what we do is so max is 5 so 5 plus 1 is um, 5 plus k is 8 right so you will start doing max plus k so max is uh, in this case max is 5 so 5 plus k uh, is 8 then for, right so let me write down in another color here so your max is 5 right k is equal to 3 correct so you reduce the k so k becomes 2 you add 5 plus 3 which is 8 right then you reduce the k by 1 so it becomes 1 and you add uh, uh, this so uh, actually first you reduce this right so you it became 2 so you added it to 5 right so it became 5 plus 7 right so 5 plus 7 is uh, so first it is 7 right then you reduce it by 1 so it became 1 so say 1 plus uh, uh, this basically um, 6 right say 1 plus 6 5 plus 1 is 6 right then you reduce it to by 1 so it becomes 0 so 5 plus 0 is 5 right so you will take the sum of say 1 6 and 5 correct so that's what will happen in this while loop and at the end you will have to just return the result will give you the maximum possible score right so this is how you can implement this simple java solution code so let's run this code make sure it gives us correct answers against all these test cases so for the first example we are expecting 18 here and you can see we are getting 18 which is correct answer for the second example we are expecting 11 and we are getting 11 which is correct answer if you want to test your own test cases then you can create your own test cases also here let's say you have an array let's say uh, so your array is 2 4 6 8 and 10 right so we'll create one test case and your k value is equal to let's say k value is equal to 2 right so what your score will be you will first remove 10 your score will be 10 right then you add 10 plus 1 is 11 here right and then you remove 11 so you will add 11 into your score and you will add 11 plus 1 into the array you have used k iterations so your score will be 21 right so let's try this test case so this is how you can create your own test case plus sign so you can go here you can add your array so 2 4 6 8 10 and k value is equal to 2 so you go to the k you, you put 2 here you run this code so you can create your own test cases also like this and run this test. so now this is our new test case that we created so you can see 21 and we also got 21 here right so we are getting correct answer submit this code to the lead code make sure this solution gets accepted and as you can see the solution got accepted by the lead code it is 100 percent faster on the performance side and 33.33 on the memory usage which is a pretty good solution to solve this coding problem without doing any sorting so we have solved this problem lead code 2656 maximum sum with exactly k elements today and i hope you understood this solution and uh, i'm going to add this java solution code for you in my github repository and give you the link of my repository so you can check it out there are lots of other important programming solutions available there lots of java j2e mysql oracle solutions are there so don't forget to check them out they are important ones they are recently asked by big tech companies in their interview rounds 
<clears throat> if you like the programming solutions in the github repository consider giving it a star on the github repository that would be great if you are new to this channel there is a very important coding interview related playlist we have created to help your interview rounds it is called as lead code and lint code solutions more than 800 different varieties of problems are compiled for you uh, under one playlist those problems are asked by google facebook amazon apple microsoft yahoo uber Leaf many many times in their past interviews they are very very important coding interview problems make sure you go through all of them understand them thoroughly if you go through all those videos and problems you are going to learn a lot about data structures algorithms problem solving logic building programming and coding if you want to practice more coding problems to help you with your practicing we have created three other playlists for you here the names of those playlists are code forces code chef at coder if you like today's video, if you like this Java solution, how we have solved this problem 2656 on lead code, then please give it a thumbs up to the video, give it a like to the video, subscribe to this channel. Subscriptions are very, very important because that's how the videos can reach to other people. So others will also be able to watch and learn from this channel. Share this content with all your friends and colleagues so they will also learn programming and problem solving. Click on the bell notification icon button right away so you'll always get immediate notifications for all our upcoming interesting solved coding problems videos here. Here we create content to help others in their interview preparation and learning different computer science related concepts. On this channel you will find all different uh, important coding questions varieties solved and explained with examples. That includes dynamic programming, graphs, matrices, binary search trees, binary trees, breadth first search, depth first search, cadence algorithm, binary search algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm, Dijkstra algorithm, sliding window algorithm. There are lots of other important data structures related coding interview problems available for you on this channel, including stacks, queues, priority queues, hash table, hash map, tree set, hash set, linked hash map, linked hash set, arrays, linked list, are all important problems. Those are selective problems. Those are the problems asked by big tech companies in their recent interview rounds uh, to the mid-level and fresher level positions. So make sure you go through them, understand them very well. They will give you good preparation for your interview rounds. If you're planning to take any Java interviews, there are lots of Java related videos we have created on this channel to help others. For example, frequently asked Java telephonic interview questions and how to answer them. Java design patterns, Java architecture, SQL programming questions to the freshers where they will give you database tables, they will ask you to write SQL queries where you may have to use different database concepts like inner join, outer join, left outer join, right outer join, aggregate operations, group band having clauses, different where clause conditions, important windowing and ranking functions along with partitioning, everything is explained and demoed with examples, SQL tables, SQL queries for you on this channel. There are videos that discusses Unix questions, for example, Unix commands, Unix utilities, shell scripting questions. Soon we are going to be bringing lots of SQL related videos on this channel that you can use to learn more database concepts and how to solve different SQL programming problems. We are going to be explaining all important database concepts in those videos like joins, inner join, outer join, left and right outer joins how to use aggregate functions, how to use different where clause conditions. So everything is going to be explained in those videos. So stay tuned to this channel. Keep checking the newly coming interesting videos here. If these videos are useful and helpful for you from this channel, then don't forget to leave your messages and feedback and comments below these videos. Your feedback, messages and comments are very important for us. They increase our motivation to create more quality content videos on this channel to help others. So others can also learn programming and problem solving. So uh, do leave me messages if you want us to create videos about any specific computer science related topics, then mention those topics as well in the below comment section so that we can create those videos for you here. Keep learning, keep coding, keep solving more varieties of coding problems and most importantly, keep your learning process and practicing going on continuously and thanks for watching these videos.